Uh, what up, nerds? I'm Jay Sharif. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, I'm going to give you a quick update on the various gadgets and bits of tech I've bought over the last week, and I've got a really quirky product to share with you today. Our regular viewers will already know that I'm an agoraphobic Aspie and a germaphobe. That means I spend a lot of time cooped up at home doing various nerdy things. Now, in the UK, we've been enjoying a heat wave in the last few weeks. That's been quite annoying for me for two main reasons. Firstly, I hate the heat and I'm well aware that people of my particular hue are supposed to love the heat. I really hate hot weather. Secondly, because I've been keeping the windows open, uh, a lot of creepy little insects have been finding their way inside the house. Now, not just flies and mosquitoes, but spiders. Big, ugly, hairy spiders. I hate creepy crawlies even more than I hate hot weather, and I've noticed them all over the house. I even saw a few just wandering on my bed. Now, as a semi-devout vegan, I can't bring myself to just kill them, but I do want all the creepy crawlies out of my house. So I bought myself a bug vacuum, and here it is. Uh, by the way, I'm not going to do unboxing videos anymore. I know they're very popular on YouTube, but personally, I find unboxing videos extremely tedious. So instead, I'm just going to jump straight to the reviews from now on, okay? So here's what I received from Amazon. They did say it would take about a week, however, but this arrived in just a couple of days. So that, that's quite impressive. But firstly, we've got this big black dildo looking part. Uh, that is the vacuum motor. It's charged via a normal micro USB cable, basically the same charger and cable I'd use for my Android smartphones. And the main reason I got this particular model is because it's charged via USB. Weirdly, there are two buttons on the main unit. One is to turn the vacuum on and off. If you press the button, it turns itself on. And as soon as you let go, the vacuum turns off. The other button is to turn this little LED light on and off. I'm really not sure what the hell that's supposed to be for. The description suggested it would be to help you see creepy crawlies in the dark, but I'm thinking that shining a light on them would just make them run away and harder to catch. Anyway, the idea seems to be that you vacuum an insect into uh, this tube, uh, and then you stick uh, this cover over the end, trapping the bug inside. Then you just take the whole thing outside and empty it into your garden. Now, this is a reasonably strong vacuum, and I think we should give it a little test. So I found a creepy crawly. This is a moth that's sneaked into my bathroom and is trying to hide. I hate moths. Basically, to me, they're satanic butterflies. That's all they are. Anyway, what you do is you sneak up on it, press the button, and success! It's now trapped inside the tube. Stick the lid on top, and now the evil moth isn't going anywhere. This little insect vacuum is really lightweight, by the way, and I've always got it by my desk now, uh, because you never know when emergencies might strike. By the way, the description on Amazon says it kills the bugs too. Uh, that's not true. It's just a vacuum, not a bug zapper. So anyway, that's the insect vacuum. There's a link in the description in case you want to get one for yourself. Oh, and uh, feel free to comment below about how spiders aren't insects. Uh, and also, be sure to tell me that how spiders can't survive outside, because obviously I don't know those things, so please point them out to me in the comments below, smart asses. This has been another episode of Tech Tuesdays. I'll be back again next week with more. Later, nerds!